Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the proud and United States of America, America, please welcome to another episode of Kruger with a Thought Podcast. Here's your host, Kyle Kruger. Well, thanks, Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, what's up? So, anyways, uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about another bad WrestleMania. This one was in my hometown of Las Vegas, Nevada, and that was the last WrestleMania of the Golden Age era. Of wrestling and that was Wrestlemania 9 <sighs> yeah this is not the greatest Wrestlemania of all time so it's not good well okay it's bad okay it sucks so there was a lot of good things about this so Ugh. It looked nice. I gotta admit, this WrestleMania did look nice, but it was just wasted. And all the matches, except for two, just sucked. You know? It just... Oh, man. Like, ugh. I just want to get this out of my memory sometimes, you know? It just... I hope If there's another WrestleMania in Vegas, let's just hope it's better than this one. I don't know if I'm offended because it takes place in my hometown, or it's, I'm offended that this is the last WrestleMania of the Golden Age era. But let's stop bitching and moaning around and let's just talk about what I would do if I rebooked the show. Let's start off with match number one, Tatanka with Sensational Sherry versus HBK Shawn Michaels with Luna for the, har for the WWF Intercontinental Championship. Now, the match... Now, the match in WrestleMania 9, Tatanka versus HBK for for the IC title, it was a great opening match. It was a great start to a, to a pretty crappy WrestleMania, but it had its really good moments here and there. I have to admit, admit that Tatanka and HBK worked their asses off to give us not only one of the best IC title idol matches of WrestleMania, but it also gave us one of the best opening matches of all time. A plot to... Gotta give credit where credit is due. Who? So, I'm gonna keep this match the same. Match number two. The Rocket Owen Hart versus Lex Luger, the Narcissist. Now, the original Lex Luger match for WrestleMania 9 was, res was Lex Luger versus Mr. Perfect. It was very disappointing. You can make a if you're going to make a top ten most disappointing WrestleMania matches of all time, this is one of them. Them. I mean, you got Mr. Perfect and Lex Luger, who are really good wrestlers, and you would think that they would have an awesome match together, but nope, it wasn't good. So I gotta change the match, and instead of Mr. Perfect as Lex Luger's opponent, maybe having. Owen Hart as his opponent because Owen was starting to become new at the time, you know? So, um, so the story is this, is that, is that, is that Owen Hart's tag team partner, Coco Beware, yeah, they had a tag team called High, called High Energy, and it was okay. I mean, they were charming, but it's just that it wasn't as good as Owen's other tag team runs. But I gotta admit, Myth that Coco Beware is pretty entertaining. So Coco beats Lex Luger. Luger. Luger flips out and just breaks Coco's arm. Owen comes comes to, to defend his friend, and and oh and Coco's out for a month. For the next few weeks weeks, Owen wants wants revenge wants wants nothing but revenge on Lex Luger for attacking his partner, and Luger tells Owen. Owen, that if he's going to defend his friend, and come and get him, come and get me. So Owen makes a deal with deal with Luger that he can beat him in a match, beat him at WrestleMania with Coco Beware on his side. I and Coco doesn't have the broken arm anymore, or well, arm anymore. The match. Well, the thing is, is that I want it to be more the show Owen Hart skill. The show how he can be one of the best wrestlers. Because I'm a big Owen Hart fan. So this match could help Owen get on top of being a singles competitor. However, 
Luger does win, and the thing is, is that, is that Owen, Luger does win, and Owen is sad and just extremely upset that he got defeated, but, you know, Coco doesn't care. Air. And, and he gives his partner a big hug. So, I also want to give this match a WrestleMania moment, and Owen and Coco having that, you know, heart-to-heart -heart friendship hug could be a good one. Oh, 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 oh. WrestleMania, there is, there's all right, pump it up. Pump. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I just needed to sing the WrestleMania 9 song. That song really kicks ass, and just, I wish it could be in another WrestleMania other than this one. In fact, if WrestleMania 34 had this theme song, it would be awesome. Some? Okay, but back to the match. Um, match number three is a singles match between Razor Ramon, a.k.a. Scott Hall, versus Marty Jannetty. Now, the original match was, well, it was Razor Ramon versus Bob Backlund at WrestleMania 9, and it was another disappointing match. I think the reason I was disappointed was because they had a great story and a great comeback for Bob Backlund. I mean, this guy had a great return and a great underdog story to become the WWF champion again and to become a great wrestler. And he went and he be and he and he entered the 1993 Royal Rumble and he was easily the best part of that 1993 Royal Rumble. Rumble because he drew number two and guess what he 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 lasted to the final three and he lasted an hour and one in one minute and that takes a lot of time and that's like and that kicks ass because it shows despite his age he's still this amazing wrestler and, and it's just man that's just so awesome some. He was like the best part of, of, of the 1993 Royal Rumble. And guess what? His reward was a crappy WrestleMania match. Thanks, WWE. Thanks for rewarding a guy that actually that, that actually had a good story and a good and a good well and a good Royal Rumble record. Well, Chris Benoit will later on beat his record, but still when he enters the you know what I mean. And, and and the worst part is that he was fighting Scott Hall. You would think these two would have this amazing match, but no. It, it just wasn't, man. And, and I have to... Oh, man, this sucks. Oh, I have to replace Bob Backlund with Marty Jannetty. And the story for this is that Marty Jannetty oh, was the last man in a 16-man Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble, Razor Ramon won it. Marty tries to be a nice guy, but Razor slaps him in the face. Face. He insults Jannetty by saying that I'm glad Sean betrayed you and you know all that other stuff. This leads to a lot of heat and very muchly, you know, a lot of a lot of heat between them. And 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 I felt like Jannetty could be an awesome opponent. Like for like, here's what I want to say: that this could lead to the reason why Marty Jannetty joins Razor Ramon because. Razor, because, see, Razor got some of his former enemies to join him in the 1993 Survivor Series team. And Mari Jannetty could be the first enemy, enemy, enemy. So it's more like this match could also lead into Jannetty uh, form, uh, becoming a, a member of Razor's team when Razor becomes Razor's Survivor Series team when he becomes a, when he becomes a face. Because Razor had beef with 123Kid and Mario Gennetti and they later on joined him and you know all that other stuff. So I was thinking this could help and lead to something. This feud can lead to something when it ends. So the match here is it's a quick man versus big guy match. You know like uh, Gennetti is fast paced and you know all that stuff. And Razor like you know is big and tall and just you know just... And Lee, Razor does beat Jannetty, but I want this to be an entertaining match, you know. You know, because Mari Jannetty is such an entertaining guy, and it sucks that he didn't get a lot of a lot of WrestleMania matches as a singles career guy. But, you know, I'm gl but I just want to give him the spotlight and say that even though he didn't win, he did a great job. Match number four. The Mega Powers, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and Hulk Hogan with and Kamala 
versus Money Inc., Ted DiBiase, and IRS, and Giant Gonzalez in a six man tag team match. Um, so the original match was the Mega Powers versus Money Inc. for the for the World Tag Team Championship belts. It sucked. Really it did. I mean, you had legends in it. You had you had a lot of legends in this match and just it was just so disappointing and stuff like that. The botch it, the ending was botched and you know so, the thing is, is that I had to change this match into a Dream Man match, and I had to give the, the World Tag Teams to another team, so here's the, here's what happens. Uh, we still have the, the, we still have the Hulk, Hogan, and, and Beefcake wanting revenge on Money, Inc., and guess what happens? And guess what happens? During, a, Money, Inc. had a match with the Steiner Brothers, and Hulk Hogan, and, and, and Brutus, Cost Money Inc. the tag team belt belts. The Steiners are your new tag team champions. The feud gets gets he heated more and 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 um so Ted DiBiase wants to make it fair. He pay he pays Harley Whippleman men to have Great Gonzalez be in his the be. In his match, and he wants to make this a six-man tag team match. He he wants Harley Whippleman's monster in it. So Hulk Hogan, so Hulk Hogan decide, so Hulk Hogan decided that since Money Inc has a monster, they need a monster. So Brutus and Hulk and Hulk got Kamala, Mala to help them out, out, out. I want this match to be the opposite of that crappy match. I wanted to be entertaining. I wanted to be fun. I wanted to be something so cool and awesome at the same time, you know? You know, something that's legit and just fun. You know, I want to see Hogan at his best, even though even though this isn't his best match. I want to see Beefcake. I want to see Kamal. I want to see Greg Gonzalez have a good match, you know? I mean, Giant Gonzalez. I want a Money, Inc. I want this match to be entertaining. That's it. Also, Money, Inc. and... Uh... Giant Gonzalez, a.k.a. El Gigante, win. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Match number five. Five. Crush versus Doink the Clown and a Lumberjack match. Okay, so the Lumberjacks for uh, this match uh, will be representing the faces are going to be are going to be uh, Coco Beware, uh, Tito Santana, and his, and his Manator gimmick. Um, Bob Backlund, Hacksaw Jim Duncan, uh, Mr. Perfect, and the Bushwhackers, uh, representing, uh, Doink's side, which is the heel side, is Papa Shango, Rick Martel, uh, da uh Damien Demento, uh, the R Bam Bam Bigelow, the Berserker, and the Bever and the Beverly Brothers. Now, this match, Doink versus um, Crush, was okay. It wasn't a bad match, but it just needed some more to it. I like the two Doinks idea. It's just, man, it just needed more to it, you know? So I felt like having a Lumberjack match could be good. I mean, I mean... This would have been a. I mean, what I want to make this match is I want to make it more hardworking, more entertaining. Uh, you know, just put, you know, make Doink look like an awesome heel. You know, have, uh, you know, I thought putting a lumberjack match would be a great idea and a great concept. And I was thinking that maybe I could um, do that. So at the end, so um, so in this match, like Doink and and Crush just beat each other up. Uh, Doink gets beat up by the face, by, by the face side, by the lumberjack faces, while Crush gets beat up by the heel, fa the heel lumberjacks, and you know, it goes back and forth, you know, the, the match is, you know, I'm sorry, I, I'm not gonna describe you a match, but, so anyways, um, so anyways, um, Doink, uh, Doink defeats Crush, and he celebrates with the other heels, 
heels, like, all the heels are in the ring, and, like, they celebrate with him, like, they lift Doink up. Uh, this is also going to foreshadow the a little bit of the Bam Bam versus Doink feud, which will be in the next few months, because, you know, they started off, like, as friends with Bam Bam he helping Doink, and then a few months later, they start off, like, a as enemies. While Crush is being carried by both Bushwhackers, and the faces just, you know, go and just... You know, get out of here, there, and there with the feet. Uh, match number number six: uh, the Head Shrinkers versus the Steiner Brothers for the World Tag Team Championship. Now, there was another good match in WrestleMania Nine, and that was the Steiner Brothers versus the Head Shrinkers. It was a good match. The and I'll keep it the same. The only thing I would keep is. Them fighting for the tag team belts, having the Steiner brothers win, win, and they're still retaining their tag team championships. And like I said, how they got the championships was that the the mega power, power screwed over, screwed the screwed, screwed the Money Inc. and they beat Money Inc. for the tag team belts, and they helped the Steiners beat. The, you get what I mean? I'm sorry, I'm just confused. So, anyways, tag team or not? So, anyways, like. So the Steiners are your tag team champions, and, you know, I'll just keep this match the same. Match number seven. Jerry the King Lawler versus Virgil. Now, this is a match I made up, so here's the so here's the story. Or he, Virgil defeats, defeats uh, Jerry the King Lawler in an embarrassing fashion. Jerry the King Lawler, like always, insults him, you know, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay, sorry, I'm, just, I'm sorry, it's just... So, Virgil being the underdog, I really like Virgil, you know, I just... Maybe I want to give him another Wrestle, WrestleMania match. And Virgil is a good... And Virgil, like, challenges, you know, Jerry Lawler to uh, a WrestleMania match, and it's a singles one. I wanted to be entertaining, you know, fun... And so, at the end of the match, uh, Virgil quick pins uh, Jerry the King Lawler and and wins the match. Jerry being embarrassed embarrassed by this match number eight. The Undertaker with Paul Vera versus Mr. Huge, aka Curtis Huge. With Harley Wimpleman. Okay, can we just admit that Undertaker versus versus Giant Gonzalez, aka El Gigante, would sucked, uh, and that's it. Okay, I don't think this is Taker's worst WrestleMania match. It's a close second. I'll get to that worst one when we talk about uh, WrestleMania 15. And spoilers alert, sorry about that. But <sighs> this match sucked. It was just slow and boring and just ugh. and don't get me wrong, Undertaker's trying and so is and so is El Gigante, but but it didn't make up for a great it didn't make up for a horrible, horrible, horrible match. So I had to change it to um so I had to put J J uh, El Gigante, aka Giant Gonzalez, who in that six man tag team match match, and I'm gonna replace him with with uh, Curtis Huge. See, Harley Wimpleman is still mad at at Undertaker for destroying his monster, which was Kamala. And he decides that since he can't use Giant Gonzalez, Gonzalez to attack Undertaker, he decides to use He decides to use decides to hire another monster. Mr. Huge. Mr. Huge debuts in uh in in uh, February, and he starts to crumble everybody. And Harley Wimbledon makes a challenge to the Undertaker that he will, that Mr. Huge will defeat Undertaker no matter what. Match. Um, the match I think it could be entertaining, and I think that Curtis Huge could be a better opponent than Giant Gonzalez because we seen because he has a lot of movements and stuff like that. And um, I feel like Mr. Curtis Huge, like Curtis Huge, could be a good opponent. Uh, for the ending to the match, uh, Taker obviously wins, but 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 
Also, uh, even also about that utter, even though Undertaker's entrance in WrestleMania Nine was good, it just didn't make up for the Giant Gonzalez versus Undertaker match. But I will keep the entrance. That entrance is awesome, by the way. Match number nine and the final match in the main event: Yokozuna with Mr. Fuji versus Brett versus the WWF Champion Brett the Hitman Hart for the WWF Championship. Oh God. Okay, this wasn't a great main event match. Yeah, they were trying, but... Man, it just wasn't good. It wasn't as good as a WrestleMania 10 match. So, in the original, Mr. Fuji put dust in Bret Hart's face and causing you know him to lose the match and all that other stuff. And Yokozuna wins... But then we get this BS where Hulk Hogan shows up, challenges Mr. Fuji, and beats him in one minute, becoming the new WWF Championship. Because Hulk Hogan didn't want to lose to Bret. Or lose to Bret. <sighs> he didn't want to put Bret over, so... Ugh. You know, I'm going to make Hulk Hogan win the WWF Championship belt, like at the at uh, April at the ap at the April twelfth, uh, like the April twelfth, like a, a week after WrestleMania eleven, like the Raw, like the Raw week after Re WrestleMania, like where he beat Yokozuna in an episode of Raw. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird seeing title changes in Raw, Raw even 1993, but. I feel like it would have been much better if Hogan just waited in a raw and just beat Yokozuna. You know, let have Yokozuna have a short run and then let Yokozuna and then Yokozuna beats Hulk Hogan and King of the Ring and he has a long run and just Okay, I'm sorry. I, I I'm sorry. Okay, so back to the match. I would have made this match entertaining. No Hogan bullcrap. Just Yokozuna and Hul and Hart having a good big man little man match. And guess what? Yokozuna does not he need help from Mr. Fuji. He just beat beats Bret Hart on his own. And he wins the WWF Championship. And no Hulk Hogan BS and beating him at one. So, you know, that's it. Well, this was a fun podcast. Uh, this was a much more easier WrestleMania to rebook. Um, yeah, it was hard, and I will admit this one was a little short, but, you know, I'm really glad that I rebooked this WrestleMania, and so, I hope you guys like it, and, you know, everything will be cool, man. You know, I hope, I hope WrestleMania 33 is going to be great, and I hope we get another WrestleMania in Las Vegas. Man, I had a lot of fun, fun making this one, and... I want to thank you guys for listening in. I know it wasn't my best, but hey, I'm trying to start off somewhere here. So, I hope you guys have a good day and I hope and if you guys like it, leave a comment. And right now, I just hope you know things will get better. See you guys in the next episode.